Are you ready to revolutionize your existence? I'm talking about fucking changing your life forever. Creating the body of your dreams. Raising your physical, mental, and spiritual vibration. And ultimately shifting every way that you've perceived your existence. You see, here's the deal. This is the number. What I'm going to be sharing with you today is the biggest, the most important thing to manifesting life in your body, in your avatar, to transforming your overall existence. If you want to lose weight, this is the most important thing. If you want to get healthy, this is the most important thing. If you want to reverse disease, things like diabetes or chronic illness, disease, uh, fatigue, all of those things. If you want to reverse those things, this is the most important thing. If you want to begin to uh, discover or sink into, explore immortality, this is the biggest thing. If you want to gain income, like increase your income or become wealthy in some way, this is the most important thing you must you absolutely must learn. You must learn. This is vital to every life artist, to your experience. Are you ready? This one thing is going to change your life. Here it is. Your thoughts. I have been, for many years, been working in personal development field from personal coaching, business coaching, life coaching, uh, physical fitness coaching. And the number one thing that I've observed over all of these years is this, that every single thing in the energetic universe begins in your mind. If you want to lose weight, it begins in your mind. And what that means is when people come with me and I was working out with them, I was uh, training them in the gym or uh, at home with body weight workouts or movements, I would come in and I'd say, okay, here's the number one thing. If you're going to begin this journey, it doesn't begin in the gym. It doesn't begin with actual moving. It begins in your mind. It begins in your thoughts. And they would say, wait, whoa, 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 you, you're my personal trainer. You're supposed to be training me in physical fitness. And I say, yeah, but before we can move into that, you've got to change your thoughts. Why? And, and why and what do I mean? Why and what? These are really important. Why it begins in your mind is because your body is responding to your mind. And your mind and the thoughts that are going on are an energetic form that are going to take shape or manifest in some way. You will manifest what you're conscious of, good, bad, or indifferent. This is the nature of your creative design, of your divine design. What you think, you will ultimately manifest. If you're thinking negative thoughts, you will manifest negativity. If you're thinking positive thoughts, you'll, neg you'll manifest positivity. But it has to be more than just a conscious thought. It also trickles down into a subconscious programming. Check out the video here on subconscious programming for more on that. Here is what is vitally important for you to realize. If you want to lose weight, you have to begin to see yourself in the shape or the physical condition that you want to be in. So when you look in the mirror, don't see, oh, I'm so out of shape, I'm fat, oh, woe is me. That energy, even though you're trying to think, I feel good, that energy of, oh, I'm so fat, actually will shift and cause you to regress or continually manifest fat. And it will ultimately create an environment in which you won't want to continue the journey continue moving forward into your goals or creating the body of your dreams. So here is uh, what I recommend. Here's what I tell my clients. Find picture online or somebody that you know that on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, um, on Google, Google it. Find somebody with a similar body type. Find somebody with that physique that you want to create. Put it on the background of your phone. Print it off. Throw it on your refrigerator. Have this picture in mind. The, the, the picture isn't so that you have a goal as much as it is so that you're beginning to create this backdrop. When you look at yourself, this is what you see. 
When you see this, this is what you see. There's so many scientific studies and even biblical passages that talk about as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You are going to create what you are thinking, consciously and subconsciously. We are going to create what we're thinking. So you must begin to see yourself the way you want to be and then assume the mood of the fulfilled desire. When it comes to creating, you must assume the mood. So in other words, if you want to create wealth, you begin to you must begin to think wealthy. You can't think poverty and create wealth. It doesn't work that way. You must begin to change the way you think, begin to think wealthy. If you want to create wealth, you think wealthy, but then you also assume the mood of that wealth. So you begin to live as if you're wealthy, even though your bank account might read in the negative. You might be in debt up to your eyeballs, but you'd have to begin to assume that mood. When it comes to physical fitness, getting in shape, looking good, feeling good, you know what I mean? Like feeling nice. Assume the mood of the fulfilled desire. If you want to feel sexy, or look sexy, feel sexy, and you'll begin to look sexy. Uh, these are these are this dealing with your thoughts is the number one secret to changing your life. Period. When it comes to raising your physical vibration, if you think positive, you manifest positive. As you think positive, you begin your aura begins to ex change. You begin to it begins to expand. Your consciousness begins to shift, and you just become happier. If you watch a lot of news or media that are bringing in continual negativity, then you, it will lower and shrink that aura because it's ultimately bringing in, you are attracting or bringing in a negative vibe. So if you attract what you are and you attract what you think, uh, if, you, if you are what you think physically, you manifest what you think and you attract what you are, then you need to begin to understand what you think is where it all begins. So I think healthy, I think fit, I think wealthy. I, be, I then I begin to manifest those things. And this is also what I attract. So from a vibratory level, this is one of the secrets to vibration. It's the, the law of magnetivity. What of, of magnetism, magnetivity, what the fuck is that? Of magnetism. What I am, or what I'm vibing at, I attract. I can be seeing, thinking all day long, I want to look like this. But when I begin to recognize this is what I am, now I begin to attract this to myself. Okay. When it comes to like a partner, a life partner, relationship, this applies to in every dynamic, everything you want to create. It does not matter. If I want to find a partner who is both um, you know, high energy and loving, then I first must be high energy and loving. For me to be high energy and loving, I have to think high energy and loving, and then part of thinking that is exploring, raising that energy, and raising my expression of love. So this is absolutely vital. If you want to ask me some questions on that, drop them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And remember, the more you awaken, guys, the more you play. <laughs>